my wife, uh, Margaret, has asked, at what point did you decide that religious dogma was becoming a serious threat to science education? Well, I didn't realize this, um, but when I discovered that um, the Alexander schools in Britain were being 90% funded by the state and by our, my taxes, our taxes, and 10% by some millionaire, religious millionaire, um, and that they were teaching, um, they, had te they were teaching that uh, Darwinian evolution was not correct and creationism was, was correct and that things like intelligent design that the earth was four and a half thousand years old. That was the moment when I realized that um, religious education is not a good thing. Um, well, I'm an atheist and I believe in the secular state. I, I've often said my four religions are uh, atheism, uh, humanism, amnesty, internationalism, and humorism uh, in reverse order. Um, and um, I think that children should not be taught religion or even history, nationalistic things, um, until very much later, so when they are old enough um, that they have think for themselves and don't have to put their trust in. Uh, adults who may have a vested interest in their accepting things without evidence and I think this is dangerous. Um, I th obviously I'm fully aware of the value to, in some people that religion has and its involvement in ethical issues although I don't think they're necessary and certainly not for me uh, and many, many other people but um, that was the moment probably about 10, 10 years ago or so and um, I, I think uh, I'm a Jefferson sort of person um, that um, um, the, um, um, you should have a separation of church and state that not only safeguards the secular enlightenment but also safeguards religion, individual religions and so Jefferson was, was aware of that and it is not only church and state but also um, education, schools of all kinds. They should not be um, sort of um, run by um, dogma. I mean, for me, science is about truth. Science is the only philosophical construct on which we can rely to determine what is actually correct or true. Um, otherwise, you have to accept um, the belief and accept individuals. And I think that's an educational issue that uh, te our children should be taught the very, very strict rules of how to determine truth. And uh, of course, uh, when you do that, religious um, religion falls, falls down on that basis that it can't be true. It, it obviously can't be true because there's no evidence. And without evidence, anything goes. And that's why there are hundreds of religions or have been, and although some are more powerful than others.